begin with our first finalist from Biliran. Hello, Kelly, how are you? Hello, Casey, I feel great today. Do you feel great? Over 300,000 people voted for you. How does that make you feel? I really feel overwhelmed and I really didn't expect it to be that much. And I'm so happy and I want to thank everyone who voted for me. Thank you so much. So here we go with your first topic. Throughout this journey, you have discovered that you are a phenomenal woman who is conditioned for greater. How can you create a positive and lasting impact to the world around you? You have 30 seconds. As a beauty queen, I know that I can be greater because we are a voice, a spokesperson to others. And as, as I stand in here, I know that I can really inspire someone, even just one person, and I know that that person can be greater, just like me. Because I am standing here representing my province with pride and I know someone will be inspired by the things that I do and they will also do the same in the near future and they will be greater also. Thank you. Thank you very much, Kelly. All right, here we go now with our second contender. Hello there, uh, Miss Albay. It says here that you love babies, dogs, and dancing. Correct. Which one do you love the most? I'm going to do a picture of all three. Okay, that works for me too. Yeah, okay. <laughs> this is a uh, topic, not a question. You get 30 seconds to answer this or uh, give me comments on this. Throughout this journey, you have discovered that you are a phenomenal woman who is conditioned for greater. How can you create a positive and lasting impact to the world around you? Well, to do that, I was, it was about finding myself, to know, to know what I want to do in my life, find my core values, and then from there, instill it to other people, to make them passionate, to know what they want to do, to do in your life, in order to become greater, to become phenomenal for the universe. Thank you so much, Ms. Albay. All right, our next contender is Ms. Bohol. How are you de doing, uh, Pauline? I'm doing good. Thank you for asking. How about you? Uh, oh, no one ever asked me questions. Oh, I'm sorry. Should I not have done that? It's okay. So I'll go ahead and read what you're supposed to comment on instead. All right, you have 30 seconds to answer this. Throughout this journey, you have discovered that you are a phenomenal woman who is conditioned for greater. How can you create a positive and lasting impact to the world around you? Your time starts now. I can be a positive and lasting impact by being a role model, by embodying what it means to me to be greater. It is a constant struggle, it is a constant commitment to always work on being stronger, embracing my vulnerabilities, and knowing that I am the perfect version of my imperfect self, and empowering and enabling other girls, everyone, to feel the same way because we are greater in our own right. Thank you so much, Ms. Bohol, Pauline Amalink. All right, now we have Ms. Aklan, Christelle Abelio. It says here that you have competed internationally in sports. What sport is that? Basketball and volleyball. Oh, uh, what position? I played outside theater for volleyball and then for basketball I played... Um, uh, <laughs> and then for basketball I played um, third, third point. I played bench. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't play basketball, I'm not very good at it. Okay. Throughout this journey, you have discovered that you are a phenomenal woman who is conditioned for greater. How can you create a positive and lasting impact to the world around you? Your time starts now. Throughout my journey, I have, just like my sister and I, we have all grown into the phenomenal woman that we are today. And I believe that with this journey and through this pageant, that we have all grown to really um, to believe in ourselves and to have the confidence to really extend ourselves, not just for our community, but for the rest of the universe. And I believe that in order to make an impact to the rest of the universe, it is our responsibility to use our platform and to use our influence. Thank you. Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen, Miss Aklan Christel Abelio. All right, now we have Miss Iloilo City, Miss uh, Rabia Mateo. How are you? I'm doing great. I feel like I'm one step closer from having my first national crown. Well, you are. You are in the top 16. So let's see how it goes with this, um, this comment here. You have 30 seconds to answer this. Throughout this journey, you have discovered that you are a phenomenal woman who is conditioned for greater. How can you create a positive and lasting impact to the world around you? Your time starts now. First of all, I need to speak to my core, which is being passionate. 
passionate about educating people. I am a lecturer and I've been pursuing this because this education has helped me to have the comfortable life that I and my family deserve. And I want to push people. I want to uh, I want them to achieve greater things in life through me. And I know with Miss Universe, anything is possible because I am a phenomenal woman with a heart of me. Thank you very much, Miss Ula University, Rabia Mateo. All right, next up we have Miss Simo City, Tracy Marie Perez. How are you, Tracy? I'm feeling excited. All right. Thank you for this opportunity. It says here that you like flip-hop culture, like the hip-hop rap battle thing. Yes, that's absolutely it. You ready to battle? Let's do it. <laughs> let's, let's don't do it. Let's, let's not. Let's not. That's not, let's not, good. Okay, let's not a good idea for me. Okay, so here is your uh, comment, please. Throughout this journey, you have discovered that you are a phenomenal woman who is conditioned for greater. How can you create a positive and lasting impact to the world around you? You have 30 seconds. In order for me to be able to create a positive and lasting impact to the world, I would always use my experiences because that is the best possible way in order for me to be able to relate to people, to connect to people, relating with them through my experiences. I've lived a challenging life all throughout my life and I know that a lot of people all over the world will be able to personally relate to my story and if given this platform, I will be able to share that story to the world. Thank you. Thank you so much, Ms. Cebu City, Tracy Marie Perez. All right, our next contender is Ms. Dabao City, Eliza Flor Malinao, and uh, she actually represented the Philippines and Asia's Next Top Model before, yeah? Yes. So how does it feel being on the stage again here? Um, excited. Okay. Uh, just like other girls, I'm happy to be here. Okay. All right, so uh, your question that we need a uh, comment on is this. Throughout this journey, you have discovered that you are a phenomenal woman who is conditioned for greater. How can you create a positive and lasting impact to the world around you? I feel good to the pageant that I want to show the people that I am. I am expected to the pageant that you have to be brave and sovereign, you have to speak in English. And karo na magstory ako bisaya ang gusto na ako na maghagag ng ways sa mga nasa provincia na kailangan nila magspeak up para maduong sila kasi unsang iguaya nila ang gamitot lalo na karo na kailangan na tatabangan ng mga babae sa mga kaasang lugar kaya hindi na sila sa ilang balay karo na kailangan nila utabang kailangan na sila maduong ang iguay ihatag na sa sila ha Next up, Miss Kavite, Kimberly Billy Hackinson Hello Hi, good evening, Casey. Hi, you know what? Of everyone who has come here on stage, there's only one person who has shorter hair than you. It's me, by the way. Yeah. Are you cold? I'll get there. Oh, are you cold, maybe? Yes. All right. So warm everyone up with this answer. Oh, nice. That joke. Okay. <laughs> here we go. Throughout this journey, you have discovered that you are a phenomenal woman who is conditioned for greater. How could you create a positive and lasting impact to the world around you? Time starts now. I was a survivor of gender-based abuse. And without knowing it, maybe, so are you. And I am not here to just be a voice. I am here to amplify voices. Because we will not be silenced by fear anymore. We are here to be empowered by truth. Thank you. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen, Ms. Cavite, Kimberly Hawkinson. And now we have Cebu Province, April Smith. We'll go straight to the question. Throughout this journey, you have discovered that you are a phenomenal woman who is conditioned for greater. How can you create a positive and lasting impact to the world around you? Time starts now. How can I do an impact lasting in this world right now? It simply don't stop about my purpose because I myself is a positive person and I will continue my purpose and uplift each other and up to be beyond phenomenal to the other people and I will continue to inspire many young little April Smith to continue their dreams and to achieve their goals in life because they can be beyond phenomenal. Thank you. Thank you very much, Cebu Province, April Smith. All right, next we have Miss Misami Oriental, Caroline Joy Veronilia. Here is the statement, we need your opinion on this. Throughout this journey, you have discovered that you are a phenomenal woman who is conditioned for greater. 
How can you create a positive and lasting impact to the world around you? Time starts now. I have always believed in the power of storytelling. I believe that we can be greater during this time when we share stories that inspire, that empowers, and encourages. Because when we share stories, we know better. And when we know better, we do better. And by that, we become greater. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Sami Sorieto, Caroline Joy Veronica. All right, here we go. Madawe City, Lou Dominique Mixon. Here is the statement. We need your opinion on this. Throughout this journey, you have discovered that you are a phenomenal woman who is greater, uh, conditioned for greater. How can you create a positive and lasting impact to the world around you? Time starts now. If there's something that I learned during the pandemic, it's time is constant and there's nothing that you can do once you've already done the things that you can do today. One thing that I learned through all my life that my parents have also portrayed of me is that you can never, unless you go beyond what you have already mastered, you will never grow. This is something that we should take into account if we were to be conditioned for greater. Thank you. Thank you very much, Ms. Manawe Zippy, Lou Pixon. All right, next up, Ms. Tati, Sandra Lamanon. All right, here is the comment. Please give us your opinion on this. Throughout this journey, you have discovered that you are a phenomenal woman who is conditioned for greater. How can you create a positive and lasting impact to the world around you? Time starts now. My greatest contribution that I can give is speaking about mental health. I've been through a lot in my life and a lot of struggles. I deal with depression, anxiety, and abuse. And what I want to say to anyone who's ever dealt with this is that don't be ashamed about it. Don't hide. Please share because we need to hear these stories. We need to um, communicate together, have open communication in our households, and that's how I'm going to contribute as a phenomenal woman. I want to be authentic and truly myself. Thank you. Thank you so much, Ms. Sagi, Sandra Lamadon. All right, here we go with Ms. Kevin Cindy, Michelle Gumabao. We need your comments on this. Throughout this journey, you have discovered that you are a phenomenal woman who is conditioned for greater. How can you create a positive and lasting impact to the world around you? Time starts now. The volleyball court was the first ever stage I walked on. And uh, I know that God is using me to share my passion for the sport to the younger generation. This is how I know that I am phenomenal and conditioned for greater. Because I want to instill in the youth qualities like faith, passion, hard work, and discipline. Because I stand here today as proof that these can help you achieve your dreams. And I'm here to tell you to fight and never give up and be relentless in the pursuit of your dreams. Thank you. Thank you so much, Ms. Kenan City, Michelle Gumabao. All right, now we move to Ms. Romblon, Marie Faye Taran. All right, here is your statement. Throughout this journey, you have discovered that you are a phenomenal woman who is conditioned for greater. How can you create a positive and lasting impact to the world around you? Time starts now. I was born and raised in a small town of Canatra, Marumlon, where life is simple and happy. But this global pandemic changed everything. It created chaos and lost millions of lives. But we Filipinos are resilient, and that's what I'm very proud of. And that is why I want to encourage everyone to keep continuing the Bayani Hen spirit, because that's what makes us Filipino. And I'm proud to say I am Filipino. Thank you so much, Ms. Romblon. All right, moving on to Ms. Patek City, Rihanna Pangitian. Here is the statement. Throughout this journey, you have discovered that you are a phenomenal woman who is conditioned for greater. How can you create a positive and lasting impact to the world around you? Time starts now. Being a Filipina and being a candidate of the first ever Miss Universe Philippines, I have went through a lot of challenges that shaped me to be who I am today. And I stand here representing everyone who has been overlooked and underestimated. I believe that everyone is can, everyone can be conditioned for greater if they believe in themselves and keep the faith. And as I win this, uh, as I hopefully win this year. 
Thank you so much. Round of applause for this top six baby. All right, we are now down to our last contender of our top six game, Miss Paranaque. Throughout this journey, you have discovered that you are a phenomenal woman who is conditioned for greater. How can you create a positive and lasting impact to the world around you? Time starts now. One of the things that I've learned that is valuable is actually staying true to yourself and being as authentic as you can be no matter where you are. And that's something I learned as I went on in this journey. And I'm very thankful that I've been able to really realize that. I'm thankful that I am who I am today. I am thankful that I am able to show you all exactly who I am. And I can't wait to continue doing that and hopefully inspire more people to be themselves as well. Be proud of who you are and that's the most that you can do for everybody and for yourself. Thank you so much. A round of applause. Miss Paraniake Maria Isabella is my head.